A lot of people want to see the iconic Mount Fuji when they come to Japan, however there is a lot more to do around the area than just taking a good photo. So in this video, I'm going to show you what you can do in the neighboring prefectures around Mount Fuji. The first prefecture I headed towards was Yamanashi Prefecture. Even though Yamanashi is only a one and a half hour ride away from Tokyo, the scenery and air dramatically changes once you just get a little bit out of the big city. Once I arrived, I went to my first location by car. If you don't have a car, you can still get there by bus. We made it to the first spot which is Yamanashi and we are at one of my favorite places of all time in Yamanashi. I came here three years ago, I'll insert a video, but it's just the most gorgeous place surrounded by nature. Shosenkyo Gorge is a nice easy hike for all levels and it is famous for its many interestingly shaped rocks which resemble and are named after animals or items. Can you guys see the rainbow? Once you pass the waterfalls, there is a small village consisting of souvenir shops, cafes and restaurants. You will also see a lot of these crystal rocks for sale at shops as they used to be dug up from this area. You can get off the bus here, there's different points, but get off and you can walk, it's an hour and a half walk. I'm here now, there's different bus points like here and there, so here, and then from here you can take a ropeway up to the top of the mountain. If you go up on the cable car, you'll be able to see panoramic views of the southern Japanese Alps and Mount Fuji on a clear day. It was a shame I couldn't see Mount Fuji on that day, however if you turn left here at the shrine, you'll be able to find this spot which not a lot of people go to. So now I've arrived at one of the Fuji 5 lakes and I'm so excited because I've always really wanted to camp near the lake. It's perfect because today you can also see Mount Fuji. So now I can camp and I've got Fuji sun right in front of me. <laughs> Next morning we headed over to Fujikyu Highland, a theme park best known for its thrilling Guinness World record breaking roller coasters and anime themed rides and attractions. The Naruto area recently opened this year as well. Good morning! So this is a bit of a contrast to where it was this morning. I'm here at Fujikyu Highland but I'm not really a big fan of roller coasters. Actually the first and the last time I rode one was when I was around 14 to 15 but I'm gonna challenge myself um, so it's good to see what I'm comfortable so we're gonna start off with this one, Fujiyama. Uh, let's go and wish me luck, I'm really scared. 10 seconds later. Yeah. <laughs> down. I'm waiting for my friends now while they are uh, riding the next ride.
Next, I was so glad to be on the road again, heading to our next destination. So we are now in Shizuoka, and we've got Fujisan right behind me. We're going to have lunch right here at this restaurant, where you can see Fujisan right in front of you. The best thing about this local restaurant is that they make the soba from scratch, giving it that authentic homemade taste. Just a 13 minute short walk away from the restaurant, you will find these beautiful waterfalls. The water flows off the edge of a 20 meter high cliff and thin white stream that resemble hanging threads of silk, hence the name. Next, I went to check out a local shopping street area and usually the shops that are open here have been running for generations. <laughs> Next, I went around the corner to a shop where I could make my own personal stamp. While a signature is all you need to authorize a contract in most countries, in Japan, a personal stamp is what you will need. Because I already have my own personal stamp, I decided to make a different character. I think a stamp, or in Japanese, a hanko, makes a really cool souvenir as well. And if you're into kanji characters, this is the guy to go to, trust me. He knows all the story and meanings behind them. And I ended my night off seeing the pretty Christmas lights near my hotel. There were so many different kinds of displays, and even if you visit during other seasons, there are restaurants and shops all around. Today is day 3 and we are still in Shizuoka. We're at a safari park right now and we're gonna go on one of the buses. Oh my god, that's scary. <laughs> wow. There are multiple ways to explore the park safari zone by car, bus or foot and it usually takes up to an hour as this is the largest safari park in Japan. Okay, so we're now at the petting zone and I'm gonna go see my favorite animal of all time. I've actually never been this close to a puppy but I always just see them in the water or something. But we can actually touch them. They have all the fun. <laughs> this is by far one of the most interactive parks I've been to, and as much as I wanted to stay here for the whole day, it was time to set off to the next prefecture. Being one of Tokyo's neighboring prefectures, it makes Kanagawa one of the easiest prefectures to get to from Tokyo. I met my local tour guide upon arriving and got changed into the traditional clothes the people used to wear when they go up the mountain.
紅葉の時期にはこのような真っ赤になりますこの上にある大山寺というお寺はもともとはねこの上の下社野という場所にありましたでそれまでね大山っていうのはね神様と仏様が一緒のお寺だったんですでそれが明治になって神様と仏様を分けたんでこの場所に大山寺だけ下ろされたんです。あの眺めいいですね今日は。東京湾が見えて、房総半島が見えます。The air is so fresh here and it's so peaceful. Hello, to the air. Hello. この上には下市阿武里神社の下社という神社があります。階段は百八段あります。それは人間の持つ悩み、煩悩の数だと言われています。<笑>うん阿武里神社の本社と言われるものは山頂になります。そういう風に。そうですね、そんな感じで。はい、そうそうそうそう、それ有名な侍がいたんですが。まあ、その侍の真似をして、一般の人たちはこうやって持ってきてた。言ってくださいよ。ですね、大山港といって大山をお参りする人たちが作ったグループグループの人たちが専属で泊まる宿坊という旅館です、まあ、一般の方がお泊めしますけど昔は限られた特定の人だけを泊める旅館でした大山は何で豊富が有名ですか大山はね水がきれいで,、はい、で大山港の人たちが宿賃の代わりに大豆を持ってきたんです昔綺麗な水といい大豆が集まるから豆腐作りがいる時代から盛んなんですそういうことです The next morning I went for a morning stroll around the area Oyama is surrounded by nature and is a beautiful local area to walk around After my stroll I headed back to Mount Oyama's shopping street、えー、私のオリジナルの京タウンから小松へ行きます、はい<笑>はい。The owner was one of the most passionate guys I have ever met, so if you go to his shop, definitely listen to his interesting story because I couldn't fit it all in this video. So, I've shown you a lot of different kinds of things you can do near Tokyo and around Mount Fuji. Now, let me know down below which one you want to go to the most, and I will try to plan an internationally asked trip there with you all. <laughs>